The Buffalo Bills are finally looking like the Super Bowl contenders they were supposed to be at the beginning of the season. However, the best part of the team doesn't have anything to do with the players on the field. Hello and welcome to Point of View, I am Logan Hansen. Before I get started, let me just say we always love hearing feedback from you all and getting comments just like this one. Also, be sure to stay tuned to the end of the episode to see if you can guess today's trivia question down below. To today's topic, what's the best part of the Buffalo Bills' recent run of success? It isn't Stephon Diggs. It isn't James Cook. Heck, it ain't even Madden cover athlete and our previous host, Scott Proctor's favorite QB to hate Josh Allen. It is the man who took over the offensive coordinator role midseason, Joe Brady. Weird to say the Bills can actually attribute success to a guy with the last name Brady. Brady was named the interim OC after the firing of Ken Dorsey following the team's 24-22 home loss to the Denver Broncos in Week 10. During Dorsey's time as offensive coordinator, the Bills averaged 26.2 points and his offense was held to under 26 points for six straight games after his firing. Under Brady, Buffalo has brought its scoring average to 29.4 in four games while scoring over 30 points in three of those games. This has included the Bills scoring in 12 straight quarters, including overtime, and have scored in 16 of his 17 quarters. The new offense coordinator has done a lot of good things for the Bills in his short time at the helm, but none more jarring than what he's done with the rushing attack. Running back James Cook has become more of a focal point in the offense, averaging 141 scrimmage yards over those four games. His touches have also increased from 14.4 a game to 21, with his rushing yards going from 61 and a half under Dorsey to 88.3 under Brady. Josh Allen has also gotten more involved in the rushing attack. While his passing numbers are down across the board over the past four games, he has increased his rushing considerably. He averaged just 4.8 carries for 24.6 yards and totaled seven rushing touchdowns over the team's first 10 games. In four games under Brady, Allen has averaged eight carries for 38 yards and a rushing score a game. This has helped Buffalo increase its time of possession to over 35 minutes in each of the games Brady has called, something the team did just once under Dorsey. Here's Brady talking about why Allen's legs gives his offense another dynamic. Being able to scheme up run plays for him to run it, but also knowing he ask if he's going to naturally do it, just puts a lot of stress on defenses. And when they have to defend that and know that, you know, he's such a, you know, kind of freak when he is running with the football that uh, it, it makes it real tough on them. Um, I'm all for it. When, he, when, he, when the play breaks down, like he's a human eraser and he makes plays, um, he makes bad play calls work. So uh, uh, I'm very fortunate for that. Turnovers have also turned around for the Bills in recent weeks. Dorsey was fired after Buffalo committed 18 turnovers in 10 weeks, good for nearly two a game. Under Brady, the team has just three turnovers in four games, less than one a contest. This is huge for Allen as well, as while he has thrown 14 interceptions, good for the second most in the league, he was able to snap a nine game streak with an interception, the longest in the league since 2015. This is due in part to Brady, who has not only given Allen the freedom to run the ball more and do so when the play breaks down, but has also given him a lot more checked out options so that he doesn't have to make riskier throws. This has resulted in more catches and involvement from the running backs in the passing game, which has benefited Cook, who has become the first Bills running back with a receiving touchdown in back-to-back -back games since 1995, and it is now third in the league in scrimmage yards per game. Here's what Brady had to say about using his running backs. All the running backs in that situation where any given play, they can't just hey, dial up a pressure knowing that those guys are going to be, you know, blocking or, hey, or do we like this coverage? Well, hey, who's matching up on the running back? And whether we're using it or whether we're not, at least they have to think about it. And so, um, you know, I think that that's important. And so I think utilizing those running backs just helps. Um, it opens up paths for, you know, the receivers and tight ends where, you know, we're not necessarily uh, one-dimensional and, you know, predictable about where the ball's going. Brady is not without his flaws. There are reasons he was fired after one and a half seasons in Carolina. However, he has proven once again to be one of the bright, young offensive minds in the game. If he can continue to call successful games for Buffalo and help the Bills reach their Super Bowl potential, don't be surprised if you hear his name come up during the offseason coaching carousel. Do you agree that Joe Brady has made all the difference in the world for the Buffalo Bills, or do you think it's something else? Let me know in the comments. While Brady has excelled for the Bills, and to see what I was alluding to earlier, here's our video with our former host calling Josh Allen trash. It's been a pleasure as always, BVM fam. Until next time, I'm Logan Hanson.